Hey there, welcome inside the Sullivan Center. We're just moments away from St. Francis against Indiana South Bend Volleyball. We're getting down to the wire in conference play, and in the CCAC, it's a four-way logjam. We're getting down to the wire in conference play, and in the CCAC, it's a four-way logjam for second place. Two of those four teams are at it today at St. Francis. The Fighting Saints at 10-3, and, and Indiana South Bend coming in at 10-3 as well. Second matchup of the season, St. Francis trying to finish 2-0 against the Titans this year, and it's coming up next. Anderson, Enjoy it. With the steal, Anderson pushing it on the other end. Go along to Ruffin. It's in the air. On a dime to Ruffin. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Aaron on the other end pushes it down just inside the line. Hey there, welcome inside the Sullivan Center. We're just moments away from St. Francis against Indiana South Bend Volleyball. Terry Bonadonna down on the court right now, and I'm joined by the head coach of the Fighting Saints, Ms. Kara Courier. And coach, getting to be the nitty gritty of conference season here. Entering today's game, you're in a four-way tie for second place, and the schedule makers knew what they were doing this year because your next three are all against those teams you're tied with. Today it's Indiana South Bend. What's the mentality in the locker room like going into a stretch like this? Uh, we know these are big, important games. Um, they're not make it, break it, but they know that we really kind of control our fate a little bit. And uh, if we come out tough and play well, hopefully we can put ourselves in a great position for the conference tournament. So, Indiana South Bend, obviously a tough team, 10-3 and in conference, they're on a four-game winning streak, but they're beatable, and nobody knows that better than you. You've done it already once this year. In fact, you beat them pretty handily a couple of months ago when you saw them in Indiana. So what's the key to, to facing a team like this? I think number one is not underestimating them 100%. We played them in the first conference game of the year. They're a different team. Um, they're playing so much better than they did at that first match of the year um, in conference, but hopefully we are as well. So hopefully we don't underestimate them. Hopefully we come off strong right from the beginning, set the tone, um, and make sure that they know we're here to win this match. You said it yourself, very different team, not only on the other side, but on your side as well from the start of conference play until now. If you look back, put your, your mind back into the mindset you were at a couple of months ago when the season started and some of the young players you have and some of the developing players, is there anybody who's really surprised you that you expect to be a big factor now that you didn't necessarily count on early in the year? Well, early in the year, one of the biggest surprises has been when we moved Brooklyn Withy to the outside. Uh, she was so strong for us as a blocker in the middle and has just been really, really a wonderful asset to us in the middle for the previous two years. We moved her to the outside this year, really wasn't quite sure how that would end up, and she's been such a strength for us. So, What are the biggest keys to success to get the win today? Um, we need to be energetic, we need to play good, strong defense, and we need to be able to ride um, the tide. South Bend is going to come in, they're going to have rallies, they're going to play up times when they're really, really playing well, and we need to weather those storms and be able to come out and realize this isn't the end of the match. We need to continue to be strong and hopefully persevere. Coach Kara Courier, thank you as always. Good luck today. Thank you very much. We've got some big time volleyball coming up. CCAC powerhouses, St. Francis against Indiana South Bend, right around the corner on the USF Sports Network. Being an athlete, USF has shaped my years in college has made me grow as a person. We're always trying to push each other, definitely on and off the field. I think it is all definitely just determination to do well and become somebody. It's something that I can always look back to and tell my kids someday that I had played a sport in college and the amount of work it takes, but it's all worth it. Welcome back to the University of St. Francis in Joliet, Illinois. We're just a few minutes away right now from fighting Saints against the Titans of Indiana South Bend, and it should be a lot of fun this evening. Two of the hottest teams in the conference and two of the best teams in the conference. St. Francis comes in on a seven-game winning streak, which is tied with Trinity Christian for the longest in the CCAC right now. Trinity Christian sits atop the conference with a 12-1 record. Their only loss on the season came against Indiana South Bend, so you know that this is a team that's coming in with some teeth. They have been looking really good lately. The South Bend Titans have won four consecutive matches, but they have not yet beaten 
St. Francis yet this year. Fighting Saints took them out in straight sets. In fact, back in early September, nearly two full months ago now, it's the first conference match of the season and two very different teams, both much improved. In fact, when they met each other in early September, St. Francis had an overall record of two and six. Indiana South Bend came into that match at one and two. They left at one and three. So I don't think at that point, anybody really anticipated coming into late October with the two teams sitting in this position. St. Francis at 19 and 10 overall, 10 and three in conference and Indiana South Bend 16 and 11 with that identical 10 and three record in conference play. So these are two of the top teams in the conference and for St. Francis, this next week is going to be very interesting because they're currently in a four way tie at 10 and three in second place in the CCAC and they're tied with Indiana South Bend, Trinity International, Olivet Nazarene. Those just happen to be the next three opponents for the Fighting Saints between now and a week from now. So it's going to be a lot of fun this week, and it all starts right here. The lights are down inside the Sullivan Center, and that allows me to turn things over to Dave Laquetta for the National Anthem and the starting lineups for today's match. And your Fighting Saints. As always, prior to the introductions of tonight's starting lineups, we ask you to please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Starting lineups, first for the visiting Titans of Indiana South Bend. Setter number five, Mackenzie Powell. Outside hitter number four, Alexis Isset. Middle hitter number 13, Sydney Lipinski. Middle hitter number eight, Hannah Marchand. Outside hitter number six, Robbie Berg. Middle hitter number seven, Julie Brown. And tonight's libero number three, Samantha Hoekstra. The Titans are coached by Miss Jamie Ashmore. And now the starting lineup for your Fighting Saints. A 5 foot 11 inch junior middle hitter from Lapeer, Michigan, number six, Brooklyn Withy. A 6 foot 4 inch junior middle hitter from Plainfield, Illinois, number 20, Lawrence Stefanski. A 5 foot 11 inch senior middle hitter from Newburgh, Oregon, number 10, Jade Lipsey Gork. A 5 foot 9 inch junior outside hitter from St. Anne, Illinois, number 4, Taylor Fallon. A 5 foot 9 inch sophomore middle hitter from Westchester, Illinois, number 15, Stephanie Wood. 
That's everybody, the starters for today's match for St. Francis, Valent, Withy, Angst, Livesey, Grork, Woods, and Stefanski, and Hannah Monfrey for the third consecutive contest is the libero, and for South Bend is that Powell, Berg, Brown, Marchand, and Lubinsky. Their regular is Samantha Hochstra in the libero position, and when I say their regular, she is one of just three seniors on the roster, and she's been one of their top players this year. South Bend comes in with a record of 16 and 11, 10 and 3 in conference. St. Francis 19 and 10, and 10 and 3 so far in conference play this year. The Fighting Saints have won seven consecutive matches, which equals the longest streak active in the CCAC. Coach Kara Courier picked up her 450th career victory in her 20 seasons, or 18 seasons rather, with the University of St. Francis last Thursday, and today. She goes for number 451. Her fighting Saints are in gold with black shorts, and the Titans are in all black. Indiana South Bend will stand off to the left side for the first set, and St. Francis stands to the right, so now you can tell them all apart. Here we go, first serve belongs to South Bend. Jade livesey Grote to the back line, and she gets it down out of the reach of the libero, Samantha Hochstra. First point belongs to St. Francis and the lone senior on the Fighting Saints, Jade livesey Grork. livesey Grork entered play today with 200 kills on the season, one of four Fighting Saints to hit that 200 mark, averaging about 1.9 per set. She's got the first one tonight. one nothing. St. Francis leads, and Indiana South Bend ties it up. It's 1-1. One the outside hit right there. Mackenzie Powell picks up the first point for Indiana South Bend. And now Alexis Izette goes back to serve. Lauren Stefanski drops it in. Lauren Stefanski is getting her first action in over a week. She sat in both matches last week, wins for the Fighting Saints against St. Ambrose and Robert Morris. In fact, prior to last Tuesday, Stefanski, who serves this one off, had not missed a single set all year. That's a point for Indiana South Bend as Valent got her hands up to block it but couldn't get it to the other side. And Hannah Marshan, the reigning player of the week in the CCAC, has her first point of the night. We're tied at two. Serve belongs to Sydney Lubinsky. Senior from South Bend, Indiana. Brooklyn Withy to the back line. Here's the return, it's blocked and down. Stephanie Woods and Jade livesey Gork in on the block. And St. Francis back in front. These two teams have traded points throughout our first five. St. Francis scored the first, third, and fifth, with the second and fourth going to IUSB. Anna Pacheco comes in to serve. It's her first action of the day, and she tries to give her team its first two-point lead. Ball drifted on South Bend, a chance for the Fighting Saints. It's tapped over by Stephanie Woods, and Indiana South Bend is calling for a double hit. It's a point to St. Francis, and the Fighting Saints have their first multi-point lead of the game. It's 4-2. to two. Make it 4-3 to three as Pacheco sends one into the net. For Hannah Pacheco, that's the 40th. Serving error of the season. She's also third on the team in aces, so she's been a good server. But cost her team a point on that one. Still a one-point lead for the Saints. Here's Valent coming in from the right side and knocking it in. Taylor Valent has her first kill. Valent is the team leader at the start of play today. 258 kills coming in, just two above her fellow junior Brooklyn Withy. Valent, Withy, and Stefanski have been neck and neck all year for the team lead in kills, and 
It's Valent currently on top as Katie Zakis gets the serve off and a finish on the other end from Julie Brown. Brown, a junior middle hitter, picks up the first point of her night with Jamie Ashmore's squad, five to four St. Francis leads. Serve is played by Brooklyn Withy. Pacheco for Woods. Woods drops it in for the point. It was played by Robbie Berg, but she couldn't keep it in the air long enough for a teammate to come by and help. Again, a two-point advantage for the Fighting Saints. Six to four, our score. And the Saints will send their libero, Hannah Monfrey, back to serve. To the back line and too strong for the back line. Over hit that time by Brown. And the point goes, excuse me, by Berg. The point goes to St. Francis. Our score is seven to four. It's their biggest lead so far this evening. There's Julie Brown, blocked but on the wrong side of the net. Stefanski and Withy tried to knock that ball back on the block, but they kept it on their own sideline. And it's seven to five now in favor of St. Francis. The serve goes to Monfrey or excuse me, goes to Samantha Hochstra of Indiana South Bend. Nice job by Pacheco to keep that ball in the air. And Katie Zakis hits it over. There's Lubinsky getting it on the line, or just inside the line, down in the corner. Sydney Lubinsky picks up a kill. And IUSB has scored two in a row for the first time tonight. They are back to within one point, trailing just seven to six. Another serve here for Hochstra. 34 aces on the season for Hochstra. She's been the best server this year for IUSB. Withy punches it to the back line. Hochstra there to receive it. Zakis hits it high in the air, setting up Kendra Bullard, whose ball is tipped. Diving play by Pacheco and tapped out of bounds. Three in a row for IUSB, and they've tied it up at seven third time here in the first set that we've been tied. Here's Hoxtra to serve again. Here's Bullard with a tip over. It's played by IUSB. To the back line, Zakis makes the diving play. And before Zakis touches that one, the double hit called on IUSB. And St. Francis takes the lead back. They've not trailed in the early going here. And they keep that trend alive as they've moved ahead 8-7. to seven. And Alexis Angst is sent back to serve. Lubinsky tipped at the net and out of bounds. A point for Sidney Lubinsky. Lubinsky provides the best size on South Bend up at the net. The height on South Bend's roster is not listed. She's a little bit shorter than Lauren Stefanski, and Stefanski checks in at 6'4". I would guess Lubinsky's maybe 6'2". Not a lot of six-footers on the floor. Brooklyn Withy hits it over. A good dig there by Mackenzie Powell. Speaking of good digs, there's Anna Monfrey. Brooklyn Withy looks for the kill and an attacking error by South Bend provides the point for St. Francis. Saints back in front. Katie Zakis checks out. She's also seeing her first action in over a week. A couple of weeks ago, back in Florida, the last time she was out there, she sat with Stefanski for last week's games against Robert Morris and St. Ambrose as that attack goes out of bounds. Hit by Hannah Marshan, the second straight attacking error on IUSB. And it makes it 10 to eight in favor of the Fighting Saints with Brooklyn Withy handling the serving. There's a block by Taylor Valent, but kept alive by the Titans. And only for so long into the net, that's the third mistake in a row made by IUSB. And the point goes to St. Francis. They've matched their largest lead of this first set at three points. Withy secured a point on her last serve, trying to make it two in a row. 
Powell sets it for Lubinsky, taps it over. There's Jade Livesey Gork pushing it to the back line and pushing it down for the point. Four in a row for St. Francis. They were tied at eight. And now a sizable lead for the Fighting Saints as Whitty goes back to serve again. Good hit by Alexis Izette. Junior outside hitter Izette picks up the point for IUSB and they sorely needed it. After they had seen a tie score turn into a four point deficit, they keep it close. Izette got the point, she gets the serve. Taylor Vallant trying to respond with a tapper over the blockers. Kenzie Ball touches, Powell touches it for IUSB. Jay Livesey Gork is blocked and a good save by Withy. Valance knocked inbounds and a point to IUSB. Good block there by IUSB and Valant let it go. She was in a tough spot to try to play it. She figured the best chance was to let it go out of bounds. It didn't. Stayed in. IUSB is back within two. It was a good block by the Titans. Lubinsky and Marchand up at the net. They block it again. This time the Saints are able to recover. And they set up Lauren Stefanski with a big kill. Stefanski puts the Saints back up by three. She goes back to serve. Lauren Stefanski, as I said, missed the last two matches. She's been the best player for St. Francis, though, this year. Fifth in the country in hitting percentage at 369. And there's a big touch by Stephanie Woods, who gets the point. Stephanie Woods extends the lead back to four. Push to the back line, over the back line. That's out of bounds. Another attacking error on IUSB. Their hitting percentage, not what they'd like it to be here in the first set, as they now trail by five. Fighting Saints trying to run away with it, and that ace from Stefanski will certainly help that cause. 16 to 10, St. Francis, and Jamie Ashmore needs a timeout to talk things over. Ashmore in her ninth season coaching IUSB, and she's had a good season with the Titans this year, but at least so far, their bugaboo has been trying to get over the hump against the Fighting Saints. St. Francis swept South Bend. They took three straight sets from them back on September 5th, and aside from the third set, they weren't terribly close. So for whatever reason, the Fighting Saints have really had South Bend's numbers so far this year. And of course, we're very, very early in this match as well. But uh, it is going pretty well so far for the Fighting Saints, leading this first set 16 to 10. I mentioned Lauren Stefanski's numbers a moment ago. Offensively, 369 hitting percentage, fifth best in the entire country. She's up there in blocks as well. In fact, with her 115 total blocks this season, she's among the nation's leaders. 15th overall, and that's not an average number. Blocks per set, she's a little bit lower than that, but total blocks, she's 15th, and she would be a little bit higher than that had she not had to sit the last two matches. But the uh, Saints certainly happy to have her back in the lineup today, and she's been a big impact already in this match as she just picked up an ace on that last point after having a solid kill just a few points before that. Right there, you can see Stefanski and Zekas standing in the background. Two big performers in this last week's matches playing today. And both have been pretty good to start, although that one will not go in the positive column of Stefanski's stat line. A service error out of bounds. Too strong on the serve. Coming out of the timeout, South Bend gets the point back on the board. They trail by five. Six has been the biggest lead so far tonight for St. Francis. Here's Jade Livesey Gort trying to make it six again. It's played on the back line, though, by Powell. Berg gets it over the hands of Livesey Gort, played behind her by Inkst. Jade Livesey Gort gets it off the head of Hannah Marchand and a point to St. Francis. So they cut the run of the Titans before IUSB can really get it started. Again, a six-point lead for the Saints. Anna Pacheco. That's Taylor Vallant playing it over on the left side. Withy gets it in bounds. A kill for Brooklyn Withy. 
with the entered play today. Just two kills behind Taylor Valent for the team lead. Withy and Stefanski were both averaging 2.3 kills per set. Valent at 2.4. It's been a nice balanced attack between that trio. Anna Pacheco gets her serve away, and it's an ace. 19 to 11, St. Francis. They're starting to pull away here as they try to make themselves 4-0 in terms of a set count against South Bend this year. That ball's tipped at the net, played by Valent. Here's Valent again. Trying to cut it across. Robbie Berg is able to get there. Valent hits it over again. Back to Berg, and Berg cleans it up. Turned into an easy kill for Berg after that ball got away from Taylor Valent trying to make a play. Much needed point for South Bend as they get the serve back. They'll send it to their star junior, Hannah Marchand. And Marchand hits it out of bounds. 20 to 12, St. Francis has the lead now as Hannah Marchand commits the cardinal mistake on a serve. 14th time this season she's committed one of those. Katie Zakis' serve is pretty good. Played by the Titans. Zakis to Pacheco to Woods, tipped and out of bounds. Stephanie Woods gets the kill. A big lead now for the Fighting Saints, and they can put it away here as Akis keeps them on this run. Good hit for South Bend. Julie Brown picks up the kill. South Bend still alive for the time being with that point. They trail by eight. Here's the serve from Berg. Withy gets it in. Madison Berger tried to make a play on that one. She tipped it out of bounds, though, so another kill for Brooke Withy. Saints by nine, and the serve goes to the libero, Hannah Monfrey. Monfrey is a freshman from Franklin, Wisconsin. Blocked out of bounds by Kendra Bullard. That point goes to IUSB. That was tied four times early on. At 8-8, eight eight, St. Francis went on a 4-0 run. They've not looked back. They've had a multi-point lead ever since. South Bend's trying to keep themselves alive with a late run. Pacheco sets it up for Stefanski, who tips it over. Battle at the net, hit to the back line, and the Saints can't keep it alive. That point goes to South Bend. They cut the deficit to seven. Here's Samantha Hoxtra to serve. This is Bullard, and Bullard drops it in the corner. A kill for the sophomore, Kendra Bullard. And Alexis Angst comes back in to serve. Saints need just two points now to capture a first set victory. Tipped, and it drops in bounds anyway. IUSB gets the point. South Bend's not letting St. Francis finish this game off with a nice long run. Ever since going behind by nine points, they've been able to edge their way back in. It might be a little bit too late, though time will tell. See if they've got one big run in them. Stefanski for Livesey Gork, who hits it off the side of her hand. And never got that one close to going over the net. An attacking mistake there by Jade Livesey Grork. And it sets up another serve for Mackenzie Powell, now trailing by just six. Angst for Stefanski. Nice recovery. Pushed over by South Bend. Angst for Stefanski again. This time a harder hit, but a good dig by Mackenzie Powell. And hit over by South Bend. This time it's Livesey Gork giving it a try and finishing it off. Seven point lead for St. Francis and it's set point. 
Brooklyn Withy goes back for what she hopes is the final serve of the first set. Powerful hit by Hannah Marchand and a point to Indiana South Bend. That was the best swing we've seen today from Marchand, certainly, and I think probably from any Titan. Their deficit is six, still six more set points for St. Francis. Good diving play by Valent, and Monfrey hits it over, keeping the volley alive. Blocked by Stefanski, but South Bend this time keeps it alive. Enks tips it up, but just say Gork gets it over. Excellent defense from the Saints. But no defense for that one. Robbie Burr. Called by the fighting. Saints led it 24-17. All they needed was one point to take the set. All they still need is one point to take the set, but the last few have not gone St. Francis' way. And so Kara Courier calls timeout to try to put her team in the right frame of mind to finish it off. Fighting Saints did have a nine-point lead pretty recently. South Bend, though, has outscored the Saints 8-4. to four. This is a great defense from St. Francis, but gave a free ball over to South Bend, and they were able to capitalize. Robbie Berg finished it off there. Robbie Berg is a senior from Montague, Michigan. South Bend. Got off to a slow start in this one, but trying to turn it up late, even if they can't come back and win. They would like to take some momentum into the second set. I guess they didn't start off so slowly. It was more the middle stages of the first set in which they struggled. It was tied at 1.8 to 8. Saints won an 11 to 2 run after that. 12 to 3 run that made it 20 to 11. Since then, obviously, South Bend has gotten the better of the Saints. Still set point for St. Francis. They'll try to finish it off on this serve from Alexis Izette. Valent for Angst for Livesey Grork. And a dig on the other end. And that's how it'll end right there. A double hit against IUSB. And St. Francis takes the first set by a final score of 25 to 19. So it didn't close out exactly the way they would like it to. They built a big lead, and they were able to coast on that lead to a first set win, capitalizing on a South Bend mistake for that final point of the game. 25-19, the final score. St. Francis takes a one set to none lead. Have now won all four of the sets they've played against Indiana South Bend so far this year. They'll have to win at least four here tonight if they want to pick up their eighth consecutive. to be answered. Time is still on your side. The pads still feel good. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives a new team welcomes you and challenges you there's always room to grow the phrase student athlete has a great ring to it Lasting friendships are ready to be made. Game run, Indiana South Bend tightened it up late. But they weren't able to tighten up far enough, so the Fighting Saints control against the go. Both teams had losing records at the time. Both teams have been great ever since then. And the Fighting Saints will not get swept that much. They very rarely have this year, only twice. Both of those against top 30 teams. Taking the first set, usually a pretty good recipe for success. We'll see if they're able to make it two in a row here. Saints come out with Stefanski, Withy, Livesey, Grork, Angst, 
Zakis and Woods with Hannah Monfrey, the libero, set to check in. As for the Titans, the libero Hochstra does come in for Lubinsky now, and she's on the floor with Madison Berger. The Gessinger we did not see in the first set. Berg, Powell, and Brown are on the floor as well. Serve of this second set belongs to St. Francis, and it's Alexis Enks who will do the honors. There's Julie Brown hitting it back to Alexis Enks. Livesey Gork tries to finish it off for the Saints, but it's played by the Titans. Robbie Berg does finish it off for IUSB. Good hit by Berg. She's got four kills already in tonight's match, and she gives her side a one to nothing lead. It's their first lead tonight. They never had an advantage in the first set. St. Francis will try to ensure that this is their only lead in this second set as they look to even things up. Stefanski turned away at the net by Powell. Stefanski tries again, and she finds the soft spot in the middle of the defense. Lauren Stefanski's got her first point of the second game, and we are tied at one. That's the third kill of the night for the junior transfer from Loyola, Lauren Stefan. And it's in service error against Brooklyn Withy. So IUSB takes the lead back, two to one. Julie Brown will serve. IUSB. Valance is thwarted as well. Good defense by the Titans so far here. But not that time. Livesey Gork finished it off. Is that up at the net? Tried for the block. She tipped it out of bounds. Jade Livesey Gork ties us up at two. She's had a very nice match so far. Livesey Gork has led the team so far tonight with five kills. Tipped across by Powell. There's Valance. Valance gives the Saints their first lead of the second set. That is our first lead change all night. Saints led wire to wire in the first set. IUSB fails in their attempt at doing the same here in the second, but Lauren Stefanski gives them the tie score back as she serves that into the net. That was a tough serve there from Stefanski. It was so short it actually barely even went into the net, nearly went underneath. And he's had a few problems on serves so far tonight, but it only ties the score. IUSB still searching for the lead, and they won't get it here. Stephanie Woods has a kill. Good hit by Woods. Sophomore from Westchester, Illinois. Stephanie Woods entered play today, averaging 1.4 kills per set. Willie to Pacheco, setting up Taylor. Valent who's blocked. Lubinsky in on that block for IUSB. And a Marchand as well. We're tied at four. There's Valent to the back. Hit over by Berg. Now IUSB left scrambling and a block by St. Francis. Valent and Woods at the net that time. Saints are back in front, much as we saw early in the first set. Early here in the second, we see a lot of points trading back and forth. Katie Zakis has the serve. Marchand dug out on the other end by Monfrey, but she can't keep it inbounds. It's out, and the tie goes back to South Bend, 5-5. Five to five. It's been that kind of night so far. Here in the second set, neither team has been able to get on a roll yet. Here's Stephanie Woods, and a good dig by Samantha Hochstra. Hochstra is the one who knocks it over to the other side. There's a block and a point for the Titans. 
Peyton Baird tried to drop that ball down for St. Francis. Too much trouble at the net though. Julie Brown in on that block. South Bend takes the lead back, six to five. Her first lead since it was two to one. Not that I guess that much time has passed since then. Withy gets it in. Diving effort by Berger. She could not keep it alive. She did touch it. I think that ball was going to land inbounds anyway. And we're tied again. That's out of bounds from Marshan. Wound up, took a nice big swing at that ball. And perhaps a little too big. And a little runner and out of bounds. This is Hoxtra pushing it over with both hands. Monfrey for third, tipped. And a diving play by Hoxtra. That ball tapped over by Hannah Marshan. A little bit too hard on her last swing. And that time, just the right amount of softness. Just laid it in there. Nice touch by Marshan. With is blocked, Stefanski pushes it back over. Diving into the net, South Bend not able to keep the volley alive. Point goes to Lauren Stefanski. St. Francis leads once again. It's eight to seven. Jay Livesey Gork and Peyton Baird check back in for the Fighting Saints. Alexis Angst serves. Stefanski muscles it over. Returned by the Titans. And a miss hit there by the Saints. They're not able to get it over. Jade Livesey Grok tried to keep it alive. Too little, too late. It's tied at eight. So far in this second set, we've been tied at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's eight ties. Because you weren't able to count along. Withy gets it inbounds. A good hit by Brooklyn Withy. And now we'll see if the Titans can tie it at nine or if St. Francis has a run in them. Brooklyn Withy is the server. Julie Brown hits it off of Hannah Monfrey. Here's Valent blocked and we are tied at nine. Very tight second set here. St. Francis leads the match 1-0. They took the opener 25-19. Indiana South Bend has come to play here in the second set. Julie Brown serves. Valent is tipped, but back to his et. Jay Livesey Gore pushes to the back line. Chance for the Titans here. Lubinsky tipped at the net. Valent hits it high in the air, and looks like Gork pushes it over, but out of bounds. Now USB reclaims the lead, 10 to nine. Two in a row for the Titans. Inks sets for Stefanski, and Stefanski finds it in bounds. It was tipped, I think it landed in anyway. It didn't matter, but one way or the other, that was going to be a point for Lauren Stefanski. And we are tied at 10. Tenth tie of the set. Stefanski back to serve. And IUSB is back in front. That was Alexis Izette from the outside. 11 to 10 in favor of the Titans. Their server is Mackenzie Powell. Saints trying to do him in on one hit. Woods tipped at the net, into the net, kept alive though. Nice work on defense there by the Titans. Woods again, she's blocked. 
Blocked by Hannah Marshan, and for the first time in this second set, it's a two-point lead for IUSB, 12 to 10. And it's the first time that either side has led by more than one point in an extremely close second set. IUSB trying to get the revenge after St. Francis took the opener 25-19, and so far, they've done a pretty good job in trying to get that revenge. After playing poorly through the first, I'd say, two-thirds of the first game, they turned on the Jets. Played well to close that one out, and they have carried that over. Here's the ball that was kept alive into the net, and a nice team effort there. Make sure it got over. And there's the block by Hannah Marchand. These are the two best blocking teams in the conference, and two of the top 30 blocking teams in the country, so it's no surprise whenever we see somebody soaring high at the net. For South Bend, you're looking at 214 total blocks this year. For St. Francis, 220. That's a lot of blocks right there. Saints average two per set. They only get blocked 1.4 times per set. That's an impressive number for them, but obviously a challenge at the net with Indiana South Bend in town. Here we go out of the timeout. Powell, Mackenzie Powell has the serve. Jordan Livesey Gork looks for the point. Stephanie Woods gets it instead. Saints are within a point. It's 11 serving 12 here. Anna Pacheco back to serve. Paul for Lubinsky, dug out by Monfrey. Valance, dug on the other end. Tapped over by Woods, diving stop. A great play by Robbie Berg as we play on. And a block by the Titans. They re-extend their lead to two. Heck of an effort there by IUSB. Looked like they had nothing left a couple of times during that run. And somehow they end up with the point. They're the first ones to be halfway to 20. Checo sets for Baird. It's returned. Out of bounds on the attack from Marchand. St. Francis again is within one. And a Marchand this season is hitting 186. Not a great percentage, but she's a volume shooter. She does lead the team in kills. There's Pacheco playing it to Monfrey. Baird hits it over. Here's the response from the Titans. Hit up into the air. Woods gets it over and out. Just out of bounds on a nice recovery from Stephanie Woods, but the point belongs to South Bend. They're up by two, and they've got Hochstra back to serve. Woods for Pacheco, and a block by the Titans. Hannah Marchand again. Hasn't had her best day attacking-wise, but she has done really well on the blocks. 15 to 12 Titans, and now all of a sudden, St. Francis has got to go on a sizable run here. Good dig by Powell. Hit in the air by Zakis to Monfrey, and the Saints get it over. Brown. Slices it the other way, and Pacheco is there for the save. Withy's ball is received. There's Marshan putting it in there. Marshan makes it a four-point lead for South Bend, their biggest. In fact, prior to a moment ago, they had not led by as many as two points all night. So with each more point that they score, they will be setting a new game high. 
Woods drops the lead to three for South Bend as she finds a dead area on the floor. Nice work by the sophomore Woods who heads to the bench. And Monfrey back to serve. 13 serving, 16. Tipped and down, Mackenzie Powell. South Bend by four at a critical juncture here. There's no stage of the game where a four point lead will, lead will do you in. But it's getting to a point where St. Francis has to act quickly. Stefanski to the back line and out of bounds. Stefanski hasn't had her best game so far today. She's had a few more miss hits than we've become accustomed to seeing her have. Serve from Marchand is a short one, played by Stefanski. There's Stefanski again, this time it's tipped out of bounds and a point to Lauren Stefanski. 14 serving, 18 now. And the serve belongs to Alexis Angst. Played on the back line. Returned and blocked. I'm going to say Gork and Stefanski up on the block. Saints are back in it, down by just three now. Powell for Brown. Brown slices it across and in. Julie Brown has the point. South Bend once again leads by four. We've seen ten ties, four lead changes in this set so far. So we're well aware that crazy things can happen coming down the stretch. Let's say Gork gets it in there. Hoxtra knocked it out of bounds. Probably would have been better served to let it go. It may have gone out of bounds. But Hoxha was right on top of it, made the play quickly. Now the deficit is just three points as Brooklyn Withy gets the serve. Hit up in the air by Withy. Monfrey keeps it alive, but Valent can't punch it over. Great effort by Valent, who nearly dove into the post. Instead, it's a point to South Bend and they lead by four. 20 to 16 is the score. Stefanski tips and it drops right at the point of the block. So that will go as a kill for Lauren Stefanski. And now she's to serve. Hit towards the sideline, kept in bounds by South Bend, and Powell gets it over. Nice work by the Titans. Stephanie Woods pushes it back over for the Saints. The Titans are there to receive. To the back line, that's out of bounds. Wasted effort by South Bend. Adam Reichs, the assistant coach for Indiana South Bend, tried to get out of the way, collided with the scorer's table. Lawrence Stefanski. And it's her third service error of the night. She only had five all season coming in. It's a bitter pill to swallow for South Bend. They had cut the deficit to 20 to 18. Now again, it's a three point lead for South Bend. <laughs> Stephanie Woods gets it over, played by Marchand. And a nice hit by Izette. Alexis Izette cuts it across and forces St. Francis to call a timeout. 22 to 18, South Bend leads. The four point lead is their biggest of the match. And they've been at a four point advantage several times here, but this is the most critical juncture right now because they're only three away from picking up a win. And Kara Courier needs to make sure her team knows that now's the time. Can't delay it any further. If they wanna get back into this one. They've gotta do it over the next couple of points. Titans have righted the ship after a shaky first set in which they fell 25-19. That was a game that really wasn't as close as the final score would indicate. Saints led it by 
eight or nine points for much of the way. In the end, South Bend went on a little run and they lost by only six, but anybody who was watching that one, you know that Saints had it pretty comfortably most of the way. This one was closer early on. We had 10 ties after the first 20 total points of the game. And then South Bend started to pull away and they have led ever since by as many as four. St. Francis has cut the deficit as small as two, but it's back to four right now. Serve so belongs to Mackenzie Powell. Angst for Woods, that's a good play out of a timeout. <laughs> Stephanie Woods has a kill. Her eighth so far tonight, leads the team. 19 serving 22. The server is Hannah Pacheco. Tipped at the net by St. Francis. And over by Withy. There's a block by the Saints, but kept alive by the Titans once again. To the back line, that's inbounds. A game of inches, volleyball like most sports. Saw that play certainly decided by a couple of inches. If it had been out, it would have been an enormous point for St. Francis. Instead, just barely inside the line, South Bend has put themselves in position to win this game. Stephanie Woods has other plans. Woods taps it down, makes it 23 to 20 in favor of Indiana South Bend, but the Saints still have a little bit of time to go on their last second push. Here's Katie Zakis on the serve. Marchand drops it inbounds. Good hit by Marchand. 24-20, IUSB has set point coming up. Blumen tasked with ending the game here is number three, Hannah, or Samantha rather, Hoekstra. Samantha Hoekstra's serve, played by Monfrey. Brooklyn Withy to the back line, and Hoekstra. Three ball for the Saints. Hit high by Hoekstra, diving play into the seats, but not enough for Mackenzie Powell to keep it alive. Saints get the point. We'll need three more consecutively to prevent IUSB from taking the win here. That's a good start. It belongs to Monfrey. Tapped over and down. And Indiana South Bend takes the point. They take the set. And we're tied at one. 25-21, the final score in our second game of the night. Both teams now will need two more wins to pick up the victory. It's essentially a best of three from here on out. Saints took the opener 25-19. And in the second set, it goes to the visitors. Indiana South Bend wins 25-21. I'll step aside for a moment. Back very shortly with our third set coming up. We are tied in this match. One win apiece. This is St. Francis Volleyball on the USF Sports Network. Conference meet, so it's kind of our biggest meet of the year. Sharon was a Lindsay Wilson runner. We'd known each other for a long time, and she is a sweetheart. She's absolutely adorable. You would never want anything bad to happen to her in a race ever. And we were two and a half miles into it, and Darcy and I were in second, and third, and Sharon was in first. We knew that she had gone the wrong way because we could barely still see her. She was still pretty far in front of us. She still came in third place at the finish, but I came in first and Danielle came in second. Immediately, we just go, no! <laughs> we just, like, both literally did this motion with our and arms. We didn't want the credit for first and second because we knew that's not what it really was. Well, I'm very proud of our girls. You know, you, could, you can't help but be proud. Anytime someone does the right thing, no matter what, in our day and age now, it's everybody out for themselves, mostly. And I think it's just, we're teaching the kids the wrong thing when we do something like that. We need to teach them, yeah, you want to win, you want to be the best, you should strive to break a record. But remember, you know, the lifestyle you live is the most important thing of all. 
Live inside the Sullivan Center, the home of the Fighting Saints. We are tied at one. St. Francis took the opening set, 25-19. Indiana South Bend took the second, 25-21. Terry Bonadonna here with you once again for game number three. Coming up a minute from now, St. Francis trying to get back on track after a solid start today. They're looking to erase the memories of the second set. They didn't play poorly in the second set. Indiana South Bend on a nice run in the middle stages, and they were able to pull away. Saints getting one last talk together, or dance, whatever you want to call it, team bonding exercise before we start set number three. St. Francis came into tonight winning seven in a row. Indiana South Bend entered play with four consecutive wins, two of the three longest winning streaks active in the conference right now. Olivet Nazarene, Trinity International. The other two teams jammed together with St. Francis and Indiana South Bend. All four teams are 10 and three. Knotted up two games behind Trinity Christian in the conference standings. And the top four teams are going to host a first round conference tournament game. So I would say all four of those teams have got to be feeling pretty good about their chances of making the conference tournament. They're just about locking it up right now. In fact, a win would lock it up for St. Francis. But it's if it's about hosting, only three of the four teams that are tied right now are going to be able to do it. So St. Francis would like to be one of those teams. They'll have the opportunity to stake their claim to that second spot. They take on Trinity International and Olivet Nazarene in their next two contests, both on the road over the course of the next week. So big stretch right now for the Fighting Saints, the final two weeks of conference play right now. Here we go, second or third set rather, ready to get started. Indiana South Bend will get the first serve here in the third set. Good to see the team chemistry from the players getting set to go in. Not on the floor right now though. It's Withy, Zakis, Monfrey, Stefanski, Pacheco, and Bullard on the floor for the Fighting Saints. That was Stefanski looking for the point, returned by the Titans and blocked by the Saints. Stefanski, flat-footed, was able to tip that one back over and keep it alive. Withy, played on the other side by Berg. Tipped back over by the Titans. Oh, the best volley of the day so far, and ends on a positive for St. Francis. Kendra Bullard pulls down the first point. Fighting Saints lead one to nothing. Well, the team to score first has been, been the victorious team in each of the first two sets. Let's see if the Saints can make it three in a row. Here's the serve from Alexis Engst. Gessinger hitting it over to Angst. Now Zakis sets up Livesey Grork. Good return by the Titans. Another good volley. Two in a row. Monfrey and Zakis nearly ran into each other there, but they kept the ball alive. Stefanski finishes it off. Solid hit. Inbounds. Just inbounds along the far sideline from her. And St. Francis, not easily, but they take the first two points. Some long volleys between the Saints and the Titans to start off this third game. Not this time. It's an ace for Angst. 3 0. For Alexis Angst, the 21st ace of the season. Two in a row, 4 0. Kind of uncharacteristic of the Fighting Saints at home this year. They're averaging just one ace per set at home. They're averaging two per set on the road. Might not sound like a huge difference. That's a huge difference between one and two. Out of bounds. An attacking error on South Bend, and St. Francis has scored the first five points of the third set. This is the longest run that either team has gone on all night, and it comes to open up this game. Set up for Withy. 
Played on the back line by Hoekstra. That was tipped out of bounds, and finally South Bend is on the board. Saints trying to make it six points in a row, but you would say Grork couldn't get her full hand on it. Tipped out. One serving five here, and it's Samantha Hoekstra who gets the first serve of this set for South Bend. Withy blocked. Stefanski not blocked, but dug by Gessinger. Montfrey hits it over. There's a block by the Saints. It twirls up in the air towards Powell, who keeps it alive, and tipped over by Hoekstra. Inks has a chance for Withy here. Another good play on the defense by the Titans. To the back line, out of bounds. And no tip at the net, so a point for St. Francis, and their lead is 6-1. to one. We've seen some great back and forths here between the Fighting Saints and the Titans, but so far the points have pretty much belonged to the home team. Battle at the net here, kept up into the air. Taylor Vellin knocks it over. Angst. Now Livesey Gork played on the other side by Berg. Stefanski, powerful kill. He sets Stefanski up like that. She's going to make it pay off more often than not. And she picks up a kill right there, her ninth of the night, even with Stephanie Woods for the team lead. Big lead for St. Francis early on in the third set. There's Valence, and Valent has herself a kill. Eight to one, St. Francis leads, and South Bend wants a timeout. Not the start they were planning for in this third set after the way that the second one ended. In fact, you go back to the end of the first set, South Bend was playing pretty well. They lost it 25-19, but they were down by as many as nine. They went on a little run, carried that momentum over to the second set, and they were able to pull away to a victory in that one. They were not able to carry that momentum, though, into the early going here in the third set. As St. Francis has jumped out to a dominant start. This is Taylor Valance kill. Oxtra tried to keep it alive, just got it off the side of the arm. Good kill by Valant, her first of the third set. Saw a big one from Lauren Stefanski just before that, but the Saints' bread and butter here in this third game really has been the defense, and that's been true of South Bend as well, but South Bend just hasn't been able to finish the rallies off. It's been St. Francis winning these long back and forths. There have been three or four of them already during the third set that have seemingly gone on for over a minute, and St. Francis has won them all. They've also had a few quick points. Alexis Anks picked up back-to-back -back aces at one point. Brooklyn Withy will have the serve coming out of the break. And I always say you can tell which team is winning by the way they come out of the timeout. St. Francis raring and ready to go with 15 seconds still to go in the timeout. Not a lot to talk about. Just keep up what you're doing. Whereas South Bend used every last one of those 75 seconds. Back underway. Valent will bump it over. To the back line, that was tipped out of bounds. So that point out of the timeout goes to the visiting side from Indiana. South Bend cuts their deficit to six. Still early enough in this set that there is plenty of time for them to make a run. Certainly not a time for them to panic. And they came out poised after the timeout. Here's the serve from Mackenzie Powell. It's an ace. Two in a row for South Bend. Back within five now. I believe that's the first ace of the night for South Bend. Might be the second. For Mackenzie Powell, it's the 13th this year. Let's say Grork. Good defense by South Bend. Good defense again at the net. Lubinsky kept it going. Taylor Vallant taps it in. Just in bounds and just out of the reach of the diving. Mackenzie Powell, a point for Taylor Vallant. It's 9-3 St. Francis leads. Serve from Lauren Stefanski. 
to the back line. And a point to Indiana South Bend as the Saints could not keep it alive at the net. First time that St. Francis has had the serve that they haven't had at least three points. South Bend maybe has turned the corner after a very slow start. Stephanie Woods drops it in. Tenth kill tonight for Stephanie Woods. Came in averaging 1.4 per set. She's over three kills per set so far in this one. Pacheco has herself an ace. Indiana South Bend just out of sorts in this third set. Looked like they had it figured out out of the timeout. They have not been able to sustain that though. 11 of four now. Here's Valance, and she finds it inside the line. Nice placement from Taylor Valant. The junior hitter has given St. Francis a 12 to four lead. Valant has the block. They tried to tap it over the blockers' heads, and because it was hit so softly, Valant had actually started her descent already, but the ball was hit low enough, she was able, while she was coming down, to drop it in. There's a good time kill, though, from Anna Marshan. Marshan had 11 kills to lead South Bend in their loss to St. Francis back on September 5th. She's leading the team again tonight. That's her ninth kill of the evening. Keeping South Bend alive in this one, trailing 13 to five. That one off the side of the arm of Taylor Valent. And anytime I'm the person best in position to make a hit on the ball, it's probably too far out of bounds. That was the case right there. Point to South Bend. Stephanie Woods hits another one. Woods stays hot. She's had a great night so far. St. Francis' lead is back up to eight. Katie Zakis comes back in for the serve. Blocked by Woods, but kept alive. Here's Berg. Pacheco hits it out of bounds. I'm not sure that one was inbounds if Pacheco had not hit it. She got herself caught in between on it. Not a strong hit, and the point goes to South Bend. Seven serving 14. Good set this time from Pacheco, and another strong finish from Stephanie Woods. Woods has been unstoppable so far in this third set, and throughout most of the first two as well. St. Francis now just 10 points away from taking a two to one lead. And a Monfrey serve comes in low and it's played by Berger. And this time Withy hits it a little bit further back and gets the tip out of bounds from South Bend. A point for Brooklyn Withy and for the Fighting Saints. Nine point lead, you can move ahead by double digits. First time tonight on this Monfrey serve. Nine matches is their largest lead of the match. They held a couple of nine points. Glenn Withy drops it in. Another kill for Withy. She's had a couple of nice hits over the last few moments. And it is a 10 point lead for St. Francis. After a close second set, St. Francis pulled away early in this third set. And now they're just looking to stomp out any hope for South Bend. The block for St. Francis stays on their side. And the point goes to Indiana South Bend. Serve belongs to Robbie Berg. There's a crucial point to the Saints. The Saints are feeling good about where they are right now, but that was a big point just because South Bend is at a stage now where they need to string together four or five points in a row at some point. It wasn't right there. There's a block by the Saints. The Titans keep playing it. 
Withy gets it over. Nice diving dig by Robbie Bird. That drops on St. Francis's side for a South Bend point. Inks tried to keep it alive. Glyphose Grork couldn't quite reach. Still St. Francis doubling up South Bend here, 18 to nine, as Samantha Hochstra goes back to serve. And now we'll see if the Titans can string together at least three or four. Keep alive their faint hopes for this third set. Livy is blocked, sent back over, and returned by the Titans. Pushed over the blockers that time, but returned again by South Bend. That drops in. Brooklyn Withy has herself another point. A little indecision on the South Bend side as to who would play that one, and it works out to Withy and the Saints' advantage. Brooklyn Withy back to serve. Monfrey tried to keep it alive, and diving in from towards the net, Taylor Vallant just couldn't get any height on that save, so it drops in for a South Bend point. Down by nine, the Titans get the serve back. It's Mackenzie Powell. Here's Valance, played by South Bend. Withy from the back line, sends it to the opposite side, Berg. Nice job by a diving Monfrey to keep this volley alive. Tipped over, and this time nobody can keep it alive. A point to South Bend, and they're back within eight. Trying to make a game of it late. They were down five to nothing and have never really been close ever since. Can they go on a late run here and steal one from St. Francis? Let's say Gork tipped at the net. To the back line, really hits it up in the air. Here's Valance. Monfrey punched into the net and somehow Angst gets it over, but it's not gonna count. It's a double hit by the Fighting Saints. So South Bend gets the point. They are within seven. And Kara Courier calls timeout. Her side has led the entire set, but the lead has diminished somewhat. It was as many as 10. But South Bend has gone on a 3-0 run. It's 19 to 12 right now, St. Francis, and the Fighting Saints are oh so close to taking the swing match, or the swing set, I should say, and a two to one lead. Kara Courier wants to make sure nothing goes wrong here. A weird play. St. Francis was able to get the ball over the net. They did not get credit for the point, though, as the double hit was called late. A great defensive effort. Alexis Angst, I think, just didn't get it square. Two hands touched that ball separately. She tried to set it over the net off of what had been a great save initially. Just weren't quite able to finish it off. So coming out of the timeout, St. Francis still has a healthy lead. They have not been able to put South Bend away yet. Look, Kara Courier is hoping that they come out motivated now and put it away with a few points right out of the break. Mackenzie Powell has the serve. She's won two in a row already. Stefanski puts an end to the run right there. A kill for Lauren Stefanski. She's in double digits. She and the Saints lead it by eight. Serve coming from Stefanski. Gets the roll off the net. Titans are able to return it. That's blocked at the net, but straight down by Valentin Woods. And so the point goes to IUSB.
After a couple of early runs, the Saints are back to where we were the first couple of sets, more often than not, kind of trading points. It's okay when you've already got a big lead and getting bigger on Stephanie Woods' kill. Just four points away now for St. Francis. Hannah Pacheco goes back to serve. Stephanie Woods blocks it with the right hand. Titans keep it alive for the back line. It's Withy. Drifted on her and an easy kill for Robbie Berg. Berg spikes it down after Withy's initial hit. Say a little bit further than she wanted it to. IUSB just won't quite go away. Still down by seven. They haven't been closer than this in a while. Woods hits it over to Powell. Marchand inbounds. Just in, Marchand picks up the point. South Bend outplaying St. Francis over the last 10 points, but St. Francis built up such a big early lead, it may be enough. They try to coast to a two to one lead, but again, South Bend trying to capture some momentum late in a set. They were able to carry it over from the first into a second set victory. Powerful kill by Taylor Valent. And Valent, who's had somewhat of a quiet night offensively after entering play with the team high, two and a half, or 2.4 technically kills per set. Hits the Saints up by seven here as Zakis' serve goes to the back line. And a tap over and down by Julie Brown. Put South Bend back on the board. Trailing by six. Marchand served, received by Zakis. Stephanie Woods, too strong that time and out of bounds. South Bend still alive in this game, trailing 17-22. They had been down by 10, and in fact been down by over five for the vast majority of this set so far. Brooklyn Willie tries to put it back over five, but a good dig by Berger keeps it alive. On free for Pacheco. There's a good block by the Saints, but the Titans are able to keep the volley going. Pacheco reverse side to Withy, and another nice dig by Berger. Bullard into the net. No block by South Bend. It hit off the top of the net and bounced back to St. Francis' side. So that was four hits. And South Bend is down by just four points. Very much alive now in this fourth set, or the third set, rather. Pacheco to Woods. Woods hoists it over. Pacheco tries to set it down. Nice play by Marchand. Good dig that time by Pacheco, but Robbie Berg is able to finish it off as she spikes it right into Kendra Bullard. And IUSB is down by just three. It had been 19 to nine. Here's Withy. Trying to force it in bounds, but it's out. And Kara Courier needs another timeout. Saints seem to have this game well in hand when it was 19 to nine, but since then, South Bend has outscored them 11 to three. They trail by only two, and it's anyone's game right now. This is one that the Saints just can't afford to see slip through their fingers. They led one to nothing in the match. South Bend came back and took a 25 to 21 final in the second set. And it looked like St. Francis was in good position to take the swing set. But South Bend right now has gotten themselves back into it. They still trail by two. They squarely got the momentum on their side. And so St. Francis needs to find some way to turn that around coming into or coming out of the timeout, I should say. Saints are on a seven match winning streak during those seven matches. They've only dropped a total of four sets, five if you include 
the second set today. And very rarely have they faced much at during this long winning streak. Toughest point was in a game at Southeastern down in Florida a couple of weeks ago when they trailed two sets to none, came roaring back to take the so It's not as though they have not faced any tough spots, but they're in a tough one right now. Trying to maintain their composure after they've been outscored 11 to three over the last 14 points. Hannah's Manfrey and Pacheco on the floor with Withy Zake. And Peyton Baird, as we get back in action out of the team. Woods has been the go-to. That time is returned and dropped inbounds by IUSB. They are down by just one. Not just a 12 to three run here, but a 6-0 run. They can tie it up now. We have not been tied yet in this set. St. Francis scored the first five points, but we're tied now. 22-22, Saints are out of timeouts. Seven in a row for South Bend. And now they can take their first lead. Marshan serve, played on the back line by Zakis. Baird over to the other side. Checo sets up Monfrey. South Bend not making any mistakes right now. They shot themselves in the foot a few times earlier, and this time they do let one drift, and Stephanie Woods is there to clean it up. Point for the Fighting Saints. They're up 23-20. This one looked like it was over a while ago. It wasn't. Still in position to win, though. They need just two more points. Hannah Monfrey is the server. Monfrey hits it into the net just an inch higher, and that would have gotten the roll. But it could not find its way over, and we're tied at 23. IUSB can take their first lead of the set right here and put themselves in set point. Stefanski. Tipped towards the out of bounds. Nice save by the libero Hockstra. Stefanski again, dropped down. Tipped at the net, but hit too hard by Stefanski. South Bend just was not able to handle it, and now St. Francis has set point. It hasn't been pretty over the second half of this set, but with one more point, all that will be forgotten. Tapped above the blockers and down, and we're tied at 24. It's been a long time since St. Francis has gotten back-to-back -back points. IUSB on a 15-5 run to tie up the score. This one will take more than 25 points to win it. Hoxtra ready to go. Woody taps it over the blockers. Laid up from the back line by Gessinger. Good to say Grork with a little help from that net roll. St. Francis takes the lead back 25-24. It skimmed the net, dropped just inside the sideline. Nice hit by Jade Livesey Grork. And it's the second set point for St. Francis. Server is Brooklyn Withy. Blocked out of bounds. We're tied at 25. These pesky Titans just won't go away. Another chance for IUSB to take the lead. They've had four opportunities to lead. They've never been able to get it. Here's Mackenzie Powell's serve. Stefanski pushes to the back line, played. Blocked by the Saints, kept alive by the Titans. Tipped by Livesey Gork, and she keeps it alive. Nice play by the senior. There's Withy for Angst, and Taylor Vallant blocked. And a point to South Bend. 
And South Bend has their first lead of the set. It sets up game point. Mackenzie Powell trying to win it for South Bend. Livesey Gork out of bounds and South Bend takes the set 27-25. St. Francis is not done yet, but they are going to need to take the final two sets now. And this one hurts. They were up five to nothing to start. They built the lead up to 19 to nine. And from that point on, South Bend dominated. They finished up on an 18 to six run and they have taken a two to one lead in today's best of five match. We'll take a break right now and we'll return with the fourth set, a must win for St. Francis coming your way. This is St. Francis Volleyball on the USF Sports Network. There's a call to be answered. Time is still on your side. The pads still feel good. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. A new team welcomes you and challenges you. There's always room to grow. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Get in the game at playnaia.org. Three sets down. One or two to go, we'll find out. St. Francis trails Indiana South Bend by a score of two to one in the match right now. Saints took the opener 25-19. South Bend has responded with victories of 25 to 21 and 27 to 25. That swing set's always a big one and it goes without saying, but the Saints are a lot better when they've had two to one advantages as opposed to two to one deficit matches this year in which they've taken a two to one lead. They've gone five and two. When they've trailed two sets, to they've gone just six. That's the bad news. The good news for the Fighting Saints is that those two wins when trailing two to one, they've come in their last two matches. Their last two matches, that is, in which they've trailed two to one. October 15th at Southeastern, and then last Thursday at home against St. Ambrose. But if they do end up falling in this match, they'll be, I think, thinking back to that third set for a long time to come because they seem to have it in the bag. They jumped out to a 5-0 lead. They led by 10. 19-9 was the most recent time they were ahead by 10. And they weren't able to finish it off. They led Indiana South Bend on an 18-6 run to end the set. Credit where credit is due. They didn't just let Indiana South Bend go on that run. Titans didn't shoot themselves in the foot at all. Very few unforced errors in the latter half of that third set. And when they struggled earlier in the night, Oftentimes, South Bend struggled because they made some mistakes, some attacking errors, a few service errors, and we just didn't see any of those as that one went on. So they were able to come away with the victory, and now here we are in the fourth set. Just saw Gabby Pielmo in the lineup. First time she's been on the floor tonight, but it'll be Lauren Stefanski who gets the first serve for the Fighting Saints to start out this fourth game, a must win for St. Francis. Stefanski's serve is away. And a kill picked up by South Bend. They take a 1-0 lead. 
Julie Brown picks up the first point for the Titans. Their run continues into the fourth game. They're on a 19 to six run. Going back to their 10 point deficit in the last set. Here's Powell. Taylor Valent gets the point for St. Francis. Valent ties the score up at one. Now there's a new libero for St. Francis. Katie Zakis has switched her jerseys. She's in pink now. And a Pacheco got the serve. Taylor Valent hit that one off the side of her arm and was able to force it over the net just the same. That's out of bounds, not tipped at the net. Alexis Izette hit it out, and a point to the Fighting Saints, who take their first lead of this fourth set. Diving play, but it's not enough for Powell to keep it alive. Nice effort by Mackenzie Powell, but the point goes to St. Francis. They're on a 3-0 run here. Remember, they started off the third set hot. They're doing it again here in the fourth. Zakis for Valent, blocked out of bounds by IUSB, and Taylor Valent has her second kill of this fourth game. That one tips the net, but it gets over. Stephanie Woods, another kill. And the Saints lead it 5-1. to one. In the third game, they started out straight points. In this one, they spotted South Bend one and then scored five in a row. Do I hear six? I do. An illegal touch there from number seven, Julie Brown, as she got her hand under it. And it's a five-point lead for the Fighting Saints. Six to one is the score. And Hannah Pacheco, who's been serving for a while now, gets off another one. This time, IUSB gets the point. Stephanie Woods went too far over the net. And so South Bend is back on the board, trailing 6-2. to two. And it's nice to see St. Francis take the big lead. And after what happened in the last game, you know they are not going to rest on it. Trying to keep the foot on the gas pedal. Ben picking up that last point. Gallant tipped and out of bounds. It was tipped by the net, I think. Didn't make any contact with a South Bend blocker and so it's a point for the Titans three to six they trail and Julie Brown gets the serve <laughs> Stephanie Woods hits it a little bit too hard and out of bounds South Bend back within two as they've scored three in a row themselves following St. Francis's 6-0 run Serve from Julie Brown. Blocked by South Bend, kept alive. That drops inside the line. Sydney Lubinsky capitalizes on her chance. Four straight for South Bend. St. Francis went on a 6-0 run. South Bend has answered impressively. And it's been that kind of game so far. A lot of runs. Here in the fourth, something we did not see earlier on tonight. It seemed like two teams just trying to be fair to each other, going back and forth and trading points. It's a 5-0 run for South Bend on the attacking error from Stephanie Woods. They're tied at six. Fifth straight serve for Brown. Woods forces it across where it's played by Robbie Berg. Round to the back line, Gabby Palmo hits it in the air. Stephanie Woods back across. Tipped at the net by the Fighting Saints. Pacheco forces it over. Nice recovery by the Titans and there's Stephanie Woods at the net. Woods' block puts St. Francis back in front by a point. Taylor Valent gets to take her turn at serving. Yeah, 
Lubinsky blocked by Withy, and the Titans can't bounce back. Brooklyn Withy's block makes it 8-6 St. Francis. Their only deficit so far in this set was 1-0. to nothing. They went on a 6-0 run. South Bend answered with a 5-0 run, and now the Saints have scored two in a row again. Tipped, and back to Pacheco, who keeps the volley going. Taylor Valent pushes it over. An opportunity here for the Saints on the free ball. Woods mistimed her jump, but is still able to tap it over. Nice recovery. With you to the back line and down. Just out of the reach of the diving Samantha Hoxtra. Three in a row for St. Francis. Back on top by three. Nothing seems to phase either team. Both teams have gone on extended runs of success here in this fourth set. It hasn't made a difference. The other team has been able to respond nicely whichever side it's been. Kendra Bullard is blocked, but she gets it back. Woods pushes across. Battle at the net. Back on St. Francis' side, and Bullard goes over to the back. Another block by Woods, kept alive this time by South Bend. Punched over by Withy, hit towards the bleachers and out of bounds. St. Francis gets the point. So St. Francis scored six in a row, then five straight for South Bend, and now four in a row for the Fighting Saints. Taylor Valant serve. Received by Hoekstra. Lubinsky kills it. The run of prosperity is over for St. Francis. And the serve belongs to Mackenzie Powell. Timeout called. St. Francis calls the timeout, leading 10 to seven. So they've got the advantage here in the fourth set, but right now they've got their backs against the wall as far as this match is concerned. Indiana South Bend has a two to one lead after taking the last two sets, 25-21 and 27-25. Both of these teams have their winning streaks on the line. For South Bend, it's a four game streak. And if you go back before that, they lost a couple in a row, but they were out of conference at a tournament in Michigan last week, or about a week and a half ago. St. Francis similarly was out of conference in a showcase down in Florida two weeks ago, and they had more success in their non-conference week. They won all four of their matches, and so their seven-game winning streak reflects that along with three in a row in the conference. Their last conference defeat and their last overall defeat back on October 5th at Trinity Christian. That was a straight set loss, although it was a close one. That was one of only two straight set defeats they've been involved in this year. They have not fared well in four set matches. They're just two and five. So that is all the more reason why it's important for them to win this one because they've been successful when stretching it to five. So if they can keep it alive, they've done a pretty nice job of finishing it off. 10-7 they lead, but the serve belongs to the visiting team. Indiana South Bend has Mackenzie Powell back in position to serve here. Down by three as Peyton Baird checks in for the Fighting Saints. The substitution is set. Or almost so, anyway. St. Francis had a 4-0 run snapped leading into the timeout. So the serve coming up for Mackenzie Powell will be her first. Both teams have gone on long stretches throughout this game so far. Six in a row for the Saints, five straight for the Titans, four in a row for the Saints, and now the Titans look to answer again. The whistle's been blown, and Powell's ready for the serve. Tapped over by Pacheco. Marchand looking for the soft kill. 
But Bullard was there to play it. Baird is blocked and a point for IUSB. South Bend is back within two. They've been down by as many as five. They've led by as many as one so far in this fourth set. Woods is blocked and that's a double hit out of bounds. So finally, a team is stopped after a relatively short run of just two points. Katie Zakis goes back to serve for the Fighting Saints. Leading by three, Zakis' serve goes towards the middle and is played by the libero Hoekstra. Big swing from Marsh and Zakis tried to come up with the dig. Could not keep it alive though. So Marshan picks up the point. 13 kills on the night for Hannah Marshan, who was named the Offensive Player of the Week for the CCAC for the work she did last week in a couple of wins. Peyton Baird pushes it over. Here's Lubinsky and a good dig by Zakis into the net. And the Saints can't quite get it over. Good defense by Zakis, but she sent it straight into the net. Stefanski tried to keep it alive, didn't get it high enough in the air. And Pacheco couldn't muster enough on her hit to get it over on three. Serve from Mazette goes into the net. It's the first time in a while we've seen a bad mistake like that from South Bend. They've been nearly flawless of late. St. Francis' lead is two. Serve belongs to Alexis Angst. Blocked by the Saints and down. We have Livesey Glork and Stefanski credit for that block. And they put the Saints ahead by three halfway to the requisite 25. Another block by St. Francis, pushed over by Livesey Glork and that'll finish it off. Jade Livesey Glork picks up the point. St. Francis up by four again. Their biggest lead so far is five, and they've matched that as well. That's an ace. An ace for Alexis Inks. That's her third of the match, and that time she got an assist from the net, and it does put St. Francis ahead 15 to 10. And there's a big point for IUSB. As they're able to pick up the kill from Hannah Marshawn. And tighten it up a little bit. They're within four. Samantha Hoekstra ready for the serve. South Bend was able to overcome a big deficit in the last set. Not quite as big a deficit this time. Trying to overcome another one, though. Down by five relatively late. It's to four, and now it's back to five. Too strong on that attack from Berg. That was well out of bounds. 16-11. And Palmo goes back to serve. Sophomore defender gets it over. There's a big windup and a nice block by Valentin Stefanski to keep the volley going. To the back line, Angst is not able to secure that one. It's killed by South Bend. Hanging around once again. 12 serving, 16. Here's the serve from Marchand. Stefanski. And Valent taps it over and down. Taylor Valent. Valent's nearing double digit kills. Already two Saints have hit double figures. Stefanski, who's set to serve as one of them. Stephanie Woods leads the team tonight. And a huge start to the third set. She's up at the net again right now. Stefanski high in the air. Woods pushes it over. 
Blocked by Stephanie Woods. Woods has had a huge match tonight. She keeps it going with the block. Six point lead for St. Francis. It's their biggest so far. Taylor Vallant winds up and fires it down. Two kills during this stretch for Taylor Vallant. It's a commanding 19 to 12 lead now for St. Francis. And Indiana South Bend calls timeout. It was 19 to 12 during the third game as well in favor of the Fighting Saints. Big hit from Taylor Vallant is the one that gives us our current score. Third set and the fourth set feel very different right now. And the main reason is because while our score through 31 points is identical, at 19 to 12 in the third set, Indiana South Bend was on a 3-0 run and in the process of overcoming a huge deficit, which they did. They tied the score for the first time at 22. They took their first lead at 26 to 25 and they won 27 to 25. This time, St. Francis is the team on a three to nothing run. So they've turned a close game into a uh, not quite so close game. Which is not to say that it's a blowout, it certainly is not. Again, we've seen as recently as 20 minutes ago, a team come back from 19 to 12 down and win. So the Saints won't count their chickens until they've hatched here. Lawrence Stefanski has the serve. There's a block by St. Francis, but out of bounds. Just out. It was close, but the point goes to South Bend, and that's a point that they definitely needed. Trying to keep themselves alive in this fourth set. And if they can, they can put the match away right here. Saints are trying to force a fifth set. Palmo hits it over. Returned by Powell and out of bounds. No tip at the net. Points to St. Francis. 20 to 13. And a Pacheco to serve with the Saints needing just five now. Zakis sets up Valent to the back line. It's played by Hochstra. Tapped by St. Francis, but they can't complete the block as it stays on their side of the net. South Bend gets the point, brings the deficit back to six. Palmo can't make the play on that one. It's an ace for Julie Brown. And South Bend trying to pull it off again. Down big late. They've scored two points in a row, and they've turned the seven-point deficit to five. Brown trying to extend the run. Taylor Vallant taps it over. Diving play made by Bird. Bullard. That's a point to St. Francis. They couldn't keep it inside the net there, inside the antenna. Point to the Fighting Saints, up by six, 21-15. And that's a big point for the Fighting Saints, just because of the way that third set went. From a mental standpoint, they could not afford to see South Bend go on another extended run right there. Nice block by Withy. Withy will try it again as she taps it in the activity there. Monfrey wasn't prepared for it. And the point goes to South Bend. Sixteen serving 21. South Bend leads the match two sets to one. St. Francis is trying to force a fifth. This is a long four points though. And it gets even longer as South Bend adds one and the net violation against St. Francis. Mackenzie Powell back to serve again. Woods tips it across. Hit high into the air by the Titans. 
and knocked over. Zakis passes to Bullard, and Bullard knocks it in there. Huge point for Kendra Bullard. St. Francis 22, Indiana South Bend 17. And Katie Zakis goes back to serve, needing three for the win. That's blocked by Stefanski, but she can't get it back. Deflected towards the St. Francis back line, and it drops in for a South Bend point. Indiana South Bend now trailing by four with the serve. 22-18, again an identical score to what we saw through 40 points in the last game. Here's the serve from Mazette. Stefanski kills it and gives the Saints the five point lead. A crucial point for the Fighting Saints and now they're two away from tying up the match. Anna Monfrey to serve. Check that, Alexis Angst gets this serve. Tipped over, and the Saints are not quite able to keep it going. Kept it alive for two hits, but the third was not forthcoming. South Bend gets the point. Here's Hoekstra to serve. Samantha Hoekstra takes her time, sets herself up, sends it away. Brooklyn Withy playing with a bloody nose, punches it over. Tipped at the net to the back line and Monfrey. Here's Livesey Grork to the back line. Berg sends it over across to Zakis. Stefanski tips it over the blockers, played by the libero Hoekstra. And the Titans send it into the net. Nobody up front ready to play that one. Set point for the Fighting Saints. 24 serving 19, and St. Francis will have potentially five straight set points. Here's Brooklyn with his serve. Strong kill by Marshan. Marshan keeps IUSB alive, 24 to 20. Still set point here for St. Francis as they look to even this match up and force a fifth. Marshan gets the serve. She needs four points in a row here, at least. Stefanski trying to finish it off. She does just that. Lauren Stefanski puts it away. And St. Francis takes their second set of the night, 25 to 20. They've won the first and the fourth, and we're all even. First to 15 is going to win this. As Taylor Vallant meets Sidney Lubinsky at mid-court here for one more set coming up. They'll do the coin flip. We'll figure out who's on which side, but the Saints were able to weather the storm after disastrous third set. They come back and they win the fourth, holding off a late South Bend rally. We're going to take a break here. When we return, we'll have the fifth and decisive set between St. Francis and IUSB, this is Fighting Saints Volleyball on the USF Sports Network. There's a call to be answered. Time is still on your side. The pads still feel good. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. team welcomes you and challenges you. There's always room to grow. The 
phrase, student athlete, has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Get in the game at playnaia.org. Fifth set coming up, St. Francis and IUSB, all even through four. Tonight, the seventh home match of the season here at the Sullivan Center, and it's the sixth one to go the distance. St. Francis has been good in the previous five. They're four and one. In fact, they're five and one in home matches overall this year. Good news as well for the Saints. Only one time this year have they fallen behind two to one won the fourth set, and then lost in the fifth. I don't know if that's good news. It's just kind of a, a healthy trend for the home team as they have outscored South Bend overall tonight. And overall, I'd say they've outplayed the Titans. They've outscored them by four points. And they've played some pretty close games, but it hasn't been a series of blowouts in either direction. But St. Francis has jumped out to big leads in three of the four sets tonight. They haven't been able to finish off any of them the way that they've started. In the first set, they jumped out to a, a nine-point advantage. They ended up settling for a six-point win. They had a 10-point lead at numerous occasions in the third set. They ended up falling in that one by two. And then in the fourth set, they were able to jump out to a seven-point lead before holding on to win by five in the end. So they haven't necessarily been able to finish strong, but they have been able to come out on top in two of those three games. The second set, that was won by Indiana South Bend. They had the lead the majority of the way. So that one was really the one that followed a different script most of the way. But this fifth set is going to be different because we're only going to 15, and that always creates a different feel. It means that whichever side gets off to a good start, is putting themselves in grand position to pick up the victory. So it's imperative to start strong. And both teams will try to do that right now. South Bend, one toss, gets the serve. Stefanski gets the point, though. St. Francis leads 1-0. Lauren Stefanski gets the fighting Saints off and running. Saints have jumped out to big early leads, back-to-back -back games. They'll try to do it again here. Withy is blocked. Blocked by the combination of Izet and Lubinsky. And we're tied at one. In the third game, St. Francis led 5-0 before South Bend got on the board. In the second game, it was 6-1 St. Francis before South Bend got going. This time, though, each side has one point. Stephanie Woods pushes it over. Lubinsky on the return. Woods is blocked by Lubinsky. Woods again to the back line this time and inbounds. Perfectly placed hit by Stephanie Woods. St. Francis leads it 2-1. to one. Saints are looking for their eighth consecutive victory. They're trying to improve to 17-3 since a 3-7 start. And they're off to a good start in the fifth game as a double hit makes it 3-1. Third straight game, they've started out well. Serve from Pacheco. It's 4-1 to one. And on the ace. Robbie Berg was unable to play that one cleanly. Three straight points for the Fighting Saints. Pacheco will serve again. Good hit, but a diving play made by Brooklyn Withy. That's out of bounds on the attack from South Bend. St. Francis leads five to one and a timeout is called by Jamie Ashmore. This is the third consecutive game that St. Francis has led five to one. The first time that Jamie Ashmore has called a timeout with a five to one deficit, but again, all bets are off in a fifth set. It's just such a different type of game because you can't afford to go down big early. Yeah, South Bend has fought back in each of the last two but they didn't do it until well after 
St. Francis had already scored 15. If they wait that long this time around, it will already be over. So they can't afford to let that happen. They call the timeout early to make sure that they can hit this problem in the bud. The attacking error on South Bend, and when South Bend has struggled, they've had a lot of attacking errors. There have been stretches during the game, though, where they've been pretty close to flawless on the attack. Got a dance-off going. That's what happens when you get to the fifth set and everybody's riled up. Five one Saints lead. Back at it. Good dig by Brooklyn Withy in response to Marshan's hit, and Stephanie Woods finishes it off. Started with the defense, and Woods finishes it with some strong offense. Six to one, St. Francis. Kendra Bullard tries to come flying in. The effort goes for not though, as the point goes to South Bend. St. Francis unable to return that one. Four point lead though, it's a 5-0 run that is snapped. And another chance for South Bend to get on a roll. Ribby to Valentin, Zakis knocks it over. Valent again, played by Berg. Marchand is blocked. They'll try it again, other side. And it's Withy stepping up from the back line. Valent off the net and tipped by Marchand. A point to St. Francis. 7-2 the score. Here's Hannah Monfrey on the serve. Marshan gets it over. Nice one by Marshan with her back to the net. She was still able to find the right spot on the defense to attack. And nobody there to make the play for St. Francis. South Bend hanging around. Trailing three against seven. A little bit awkward with the placement, so she has to bump it over, but St. Francis not able to develop the attack either. That set went behind Brooklyn Withy and was not able to adjust. A couple of big points in a row for South Bend to keep themselves alive in this fifth set. They've tightened up the score, and they've got the big middle hitter, Sidney Lubinsky, back to serve. Stephanie Woods has had a huge night. Why not do it again? That's eight for St. Francis, so they'll switch sides. Eight to four, the Fighting Saints hold the lead on Indiana South Bend, and now they're seven points away from walking out of here with a five-set victory. Always nice when you're switching sides at this stage of the fifth set, and you see the other team still needs 11. Katie Zakis set to serve for the Fighting Saints. There's a block, and the Saints can't finish it off as they block it straight down. It's a point for South Bend. And they're again within three, five serving eight. Checko back on that one to Withy. And a double hit. South Bend makes the attacking mistake and it's a 9-5 lead for the Fighting Saints. So we're gonna say Gork back in with Alexis Angst who will serve. Big hit, Zakis plays it, diving play by Withy. Let's say Gork hits it over. 
off the fingertips of Alexis Inks, not able to stop the screaming hit from Julie Brown. Brown pulls the Titans back within three. So the Saints went on that big 5-0 run early to take a 6-2 lead. Since then, they've played it pretty much even. South Bend keeping it close, down by three. Here they say, Gork drops it in. Saints are within five points of their 20th victory of the year. Brooklyn Withy celebrating her 21st birthday, trying to go on a run to put this game on ice. Zakis for Withy, out of bounds. We're back into our holding pattern. A lead for St. Francis has been between three or four pretty much the entire way. It's at 10 to seven right now. South Bend's been able to go on a run around this stage of most games so far. Can they do it again? Not on that point. Lauren Stefanski was blocked out of bounds. So Stefanski gets credit for the kill. And Stefanski back to serve. Good serve, but the Titans are able to return it, tapping it over, and it was tipped out of bounds. I guess that was predictable. The lead for the Saints is back to three. It's been either three or four. Inks sets up Livesey Gork, hit high into the rafters by Powell, still alive. And a nice hit and a kill for Marshawn. Now Marshawn's had another nice night. Over 20 kills in the match. Now it's just a two point game for the first time in quite a while. Saints trying to get back on track as Zekas hits it over to the back line. There's a block by Woods. Playable for the Titans there. Angst for Valent, tips it over. Kept alive by the Titans, and back across. Good opportunity for St. Francis though, Woods is blocked. Valent, punched back. And the Titans are able to get it down. After the block attempt from St. Francis comes up short. Timeout called by the Fighting Saints. They still have the lead. It's a tight one though, 11 to 10. As South Bend has scored three consecutive points to come close to evening this one up and it just seems like every game is following the exact same pattern. The Saints jump out to a hefty early lead. The Titans fight back. Two of three previous sets, they fought back and fallen short. Now, of course, the second set was the other one that they won in which they didn't really have to come back because the Saints never led by more than one. But they have held leads of at least five points in four out of five sets tonight. And when that's the case, you expect to win at least three of those. So far, they've won two. And trying to finish off this third, which is the fifth overall. 25-19, 21-25, 25-27, 25-20. That's the run for St. Francis tonight. Kara Courier called the timeout, but she puts her team back on the floor quickly coming out of it. She wants them to get right back to it. They have held the lead the entire way in this fourth set, or the fifth set, rather. We were tied very briefly at one. But South Bend has not held a lead. In fact, if you just measured the amount of time that each team has led, this match started two hours and 10 minutes ago, and probably for about an hour and 50 minutes, St. Francis has led. But South Bend is five points away from getting out of here with a match win, and that's all that matters. Not how much time you let overall, but St. Francis continues to lead here. Taylor Valent comes away with a huge kill. 12-10. Pacheco back to serve. 
Tipped at the net. Zakis plays it. Witte keeps it in the air. A good kill by Marchand. She stays hot. 23 kills tonight for Hannah Marchand. And the Saints lead is back to one. Alexis Izette has the serve, trying to tie it up for the first time since it was 1-1. Taylor Valent tips it over, grazes the net, played by Diving Marchand, forced over. Checo sets it for Woods, Woods taps it down. Now Valent, another good dig by Hochstra. Hochstra's been all over the place. Valent trying to cross it. Diving play again to keep it alive by Powell. Woods gets it down. Stephanie Woods has been the go-to hitter all night. And a huge moment right there. She's able to pick up her 20th kill of the evening. One of four Saints in double digits. She leads the way. Now St. Francis is just two points from a victory. And Amonfrey is the server. And Marchand picks up another one just in front of the diving Monfrey. 12 serving 13. Here's the serve from Sidney Lubinsky. Right on the back line by Monfrey. Brooklyn Withy, powerful hit and inbounds. No, it was a point to IUSB. The initial signal was in, overruled, out of bounds, and the point goes to South Bend. We are tied at 13, our first tie since it was one apiece. And so now we're in the first to two points range here. Withy blocked and down, it's match point for South Bend. This is the first time they have led throughout this entire set. And a timeout called by South Bend, or excuse me, by St. Francis. And South Bend is in no position to call timeout. They're feeling great right now. But boy, would this be a devastating way to lose. Not just this one, but this paired with the third set when South Bend never had a lead until 26-25. This is the second time tonight that South Bend has never had a lead until match point or until set point. And in this case, it is match point as well. Again, a quick talk by St. Francis. They're back out there already. That was the one a few moments ago, initially ruled in. And overruled. You get no replay reviews at the NAIA level, and so that one has to stand. Really sit. May have gotten the line, it's hard to tell. Again, you can see on that replay, the line judge calling it in. And the referee for today, Philip Coughlin overruled it. Alvanic now on the other side. Match point for South Bend. St. Francis needs this one to stay alive. Serve from Lubinsky. Stephanie Woods forces it down to the back line and in. And no question about that one. She ties it up at 14. Another exciting night of volleyball here at the Sullivan Center. Coming down to the very end. Another five set match and it's tied at 14. But South Bend gets that one in. Another kill for Marchand. Her 25th tonight, second match point for South Bend. And this time Marchand does the serving. Stefanski taps it over, played by Powell. Tipped at the net and out of bounds. That one goes to South Bend, and this match goes to South Bend. 
16 to 14, the final score. And that's the second two-point win of the night for South Bend. They take it overall, outscored by points overall in the match, but they take three sets to St. Francis's two sets. And so we wrap up tonight with a South Bend victory. They extend their winning streak to five. St. Francis in very difficult fashion has their losing streak come to a close at seven. And it's tough to see the team go down that way, a very hard fought match. You knew it would be between two teams tied for second place in the conference at 10 and three. And we figured it would very likely come to five sets. We figured it'd be close. Both of those things were true, but it does not end up going the Saints way. And we've got Kara Courier joining us now on the post game show. And coach, it was a thriller. We figured it was gonna be close <laughs> between these two teams. It certainly was. Uh, how did it look from your vantage point, just the way that that thing closed out? We, I don't know. I mean, and South Bend played really, really tough, really, really well. I think we both did. I don't think we played a poor match, not by any means, but we weren't aggressive enough when we needed to be aggressive. Um, they were just exploiting some stuff and we couldn't fix um, what wasn't working on, our, on that end. And we were, we were flat a lot of the match. I didn't feel like we had momentum and we were really pushing and taking advantage of when we were doing well to really kind of roll up on them so that we had the momentum. We just kind of always let them stick around and they did a really good job at just executing and performing in the end. I thought the most impressive thing of the night was the way that third set ended. South Bend went on a long run. They were able to get the come from behind win. You still came out hot and you were able to, to pretty well dominate the fourth set. Unfortunately, weren't able to carry it over to the fifth. But what was the message after that tough third set defeat that you were able to bounce back and play well again? Just, just that we've got a set up. I mean, like I said, we, we have had more than enough opportunities and exposures to five setters and that's why i just tried to, to plead to them that look you've been here you've done this you know what this feels like we got to come out we got to be tough we got to put all the other four sets behind us and come out and concentrate on this one um like i said i think we battled all the way through the, through i knew south bend was never going to just give up um and like i said they 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 got us in the end but it took them to 16 14 to do it so coach Garrett Curry, thanks for your time thank you we got a five set match tonight. The Fighting Saints end up falling to the Titans of Indiana South Bend. Our final score in the final set, 16 to 14, just a, a tough way for the Fighting Saints to go down based on how hard they fought and how close this one was. And I mentioned it earlier in the fifth set, the Saints at one point or another in all five sets tonight had leads of at least five points. And when that's the case, generally you figure you're gonna win at least three of those sets. So I guess you can't win more than three sets, but the Saints were not able to pull it out in the end as they saw their leads dissipate in the third and the fifth. They lost a 10 point lead late in the third set. They lost a five point lead late in the fifth set. And when you see the other team go on a late run like that, it's tough to recover from. St. Francis not able to do so tonight. So they dropped this one. Our final scores, once again, 25-19, 25-21, 27-25 with the second and third sets going to South Bend. St. Francis bounced back with a 25-20 win and 16-14 South Bend in the fifth set to finish it out. With the win, South Bend moves ahead of St. Francis. In fact, now South Bend has won back-to-back -back matches against Olivet Nazarene and now against St. Francis, two teams that they had been battling with in the conference standing. So they take second place right now at 11-3. They're 17-11 overall. St. Francis falls to 10-4 in conference. 19 and 11 overall. And the Saints are going to have more opportunity because they've got Trinity International and Olivet coming up in the next week. Both of those matches on the road, and those will go a long way to determining where they finish in the conference standings. So they'll have one more, actually two more at home, both of them next week, Tuesday and Thursday against Calumet St. Joseph and Roosevelt. Both of those are 7 o'clock start times right here at the Sullivan Center. We'll have the broadcast for you, so hopefully you tune in next Tuesday and Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Time to close up tonight, though, from St. Francis as the Fighting Saints lose a hard-fought battle to Indiana South Bend in five sets. Until next time, for the entire crew here at the Sullivan Center on the campus of the University of St. Francis, this is Terry Bonadonna signing off for the Fighting Saints. Have a good evening.